Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this algebraic equation. And make sure to stick until the end of the video where I have a similar problem to this equation, which you guys can try to solve. All right, so I have x minus 3 squared is equal to x squared. And I actually have two methods to solving this problem. So for method 1, x minus 3 squared is equal to x squared. I'm going to first start by subtracting x squared on both sides. These two cancel out. And now I have x minus 3 squared minus x squared is equal to 0. Now we can think of, or sorry, we can let the variable a equal x minus 3. And we can let the variable b equal x squared. So now if I substitute these values in for a and b, I have a squared minus b squared is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is actually equal to a plus b times a minus b. So now I will have a plus b times a minus b is equal to 0. Now remember how we said a, this was equal to x minus 3, and b is equal to x. So now if I plug these values in for a and b, I get x minus 3 plus x times x minus 3 minus x. And this is equal to 0. Now to simplify, I'll have x minus 3 plus x times x minus 3 minus x is equal to 0. Now we could combine like terms, x plus x is 2x, so I have 2x minus 3 times x minus x. These two cancel out, so I'll simply be left with negative 3 is equal to 0. Now we can rewrite this as negative 3 times 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now if I divide both sides by negative 3, these two cancel out, and I'm left with 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 divided by negative 3 is 0. Now I can add 3 on both sides, so these two cancel out. Now I have 2x is equal to positive 3. And now if I divide by 2 on both sides, I'm left with x is equal to 3 over 2. So that is our value of x. Now... Let's go ahead and do method two. So our equation was x minus three squared is equal to x squared. Now this time, I'm gonna first evaluate x minus three squared. So x minus three squared, this is the same as x minus three times x minus three. So we can first start by distributing the x. x times x is x squared x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Now I'll distribute the negative 3. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Now negative 3x minus 3x is equal to negative 6x. So I have x squared minus 6x plus 9 is equal to x squared. Now if I subtract x squared on both sides, I'm left with negative 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. Now, if I add 6x on both sides, I get 9 is equal to 6x. And if I divide by 6 on both sides, these two cancel out. I'm with x equals 9 over 6, which is equal to 3 over 2. So x is equal to 3 over 2 is our answer. All right, so I'm first going to start by subtracting x plus 2 squared on both sides. So now I have x minus 1 squared minus x plus 2 squared is equal to 0. Now I'm going to state, I'm going to let a equal x minus 1 and b equal x plus 2. So now if I substitute in the values of a and b, I get a squared minus 
b squared is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this means that a plus b times a minus b is equal to 0. Now remember how we said that a is equal to x minus 1 and b is equal to x plus 2. So if I substitute the values of a and b into a plus b times a minus b equals 0, I get x minus 1 plus x plus 2 times x minus 1 minus x plus 2. And this is equal to 0. Now, I can simplify this. So x plus x is 2x. And negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1. So I have 2x plus 1 times. Now I have x minus 1. And now I have to distribute the negative sign. So I have minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now this would get me to 2x plus 1 times x minus x. These two cancel out. So I'd be left with negative 1 minus 2, which is negative 3 is equal to 0. Now I could write this as negative 3 times 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. And now if I divide both sides by negative 3, these two cancel out. Now I'll be left with 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty simple equation. All I have to do is subtract 1 on both sides. These two cancel out. And I'll be left with 2x is equal to negative 1. Now I divide 2 on both sides. These two cancel out. And I have x is equal to negative 1 half. Now, I actually have a second method to solving this problem. So method 2. So our original equation was x minus 1 squared is equal to x plus 2 squared. So x minus 1 squared, let's first evaluate this. So x minus 1 squared is the same thing as x minus 1 times x minus 1. So let's go ahead and multiply these two. x times x is x squared, and x times negative 1 is negative x. Now again, now I have to distribute the negative 1. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Now negative x minus x is negative 2x. So I'm left with x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now this is equal to x plus 2 squared, which is x plus 2 times x plus 2. Now I can distribute the x. x times x is x squared plus x times 2 is 2x. Again, 2x plus 2 times 2 is 4. 2x plus 2x is 4x. So I have x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now, these two can cancel out if I subtract x squared on both sides. So I get negative 2x plus 1 is equal to 4x plus 4. Now I can add 2x on both sides and subtract 4 on both sides. So now I have negative 3 is equal to 6x. Now if I divide by 6 on both sides, I have negative 3 over 6 is equal to x. Negative 3 over 6 is the same thing as negative 1 half. So I have x is equal to negative 1 half. 